Okay, in this video we're looking at a cube uh, with integer side lengths that is painted and then split into unit cubes. This problem can be a 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 10x10, and can be extended to prisms uh, that are rectangular, not just cubes. Uh, a couple important facts for you to understand about this problem. First off, after it's been painted and split apart, there's th four different possibilities. The first possibility is there's no faces painted. Well, the only way for uh, no faces to be painted would be for it to be uh, on the inside of this cube. Well, um, each side of the, or each face, side, however you want to say it, of the cube um, has one layer that is painted. That means if we remove that outer layer, everything else will be not painted. And so the way you think about it is subtracting two from each dimension. Right? If you remove from the front, uh, so if we remove these from the front and then these from the back, we've got one in between. Uh, and so you always are going to be subtracting two from the uh, dimensions to find out what the inside looks like. And it turns out that it's always going to be a cube, assuming that this is a cube to start with. So that makes it pretty easy. Subtract two from the dimensions and then calculate the um, vault number of unit cubes in the cube that's left. Uh, fact number two, unit cubes with one face. Well, the only way for it to be one face is if it's actually not on an edge. In the picture of the 3x3, three three, each face only has one cube, or one square, um, that's only painted once. The rest of the, the unit cubes are, have faces that are painted more than once. And so you find out uh, when it's a cube, all you have to do is one face and then multiply by six. Um, so it, the way you figure out one face is the same way we did it with the inside cube, is subtract two from the dimensions of the face, um, and then find the area that's left. Um, unit cubes with two faces painted are always going to be on the edge. Um, notice it's one of these. This is, this is a unit cube with two faces painted. Um, and so uh, notice it's on the edge. It's not a corner. A corner has got three, um, uh, uh, three faces painted. And so you just look for how many of the, those edge pieces. The nice thing is in a cube, all the edges are the same. And if you can remember there's 12 edges, then all you need to do is multiply by the... Um, number on number of cubes on one of the edges. And then the last thing is uh, the only constant in all these problems is the only ones the three faces painted are the corners of the cube and there are always eight corners of a cube. So you always know that the way to get three faces painted is to do uh, is just find the eight corners and the answer is always eight. So two examples. Example one, how many unit cubes of uh, two faces painted are there if a 3x3x3 three by three by three is painted and then it's split into 27 unit cubes? So again, we can go back to our picture up here. And uh, for each of the edges, there's only going to be one, right? That cube right there is the only one on that edge. So since there are 12 edges, the answer to this question is just 12 uh, or 1 for that edge times 12, which is 12. And so the number of 3x3 three three that have two faces uh, painted is just 12. Now we move into a 5x5x5 five by five by five example, which is considerably harder. And the first thing it says, if it's split into 125 unit cubes, how many of the cubes have one side painted? Well, if you want one side painted, remember, that's just going to be how many are on the interior of one of the faces, not on an edge. So if we think about what one of the faces looks like, Then the ones that are on the edge, I'm going to shade in red. Those are all on the edge of the cube if I were to draw the rest of the cube in. And so what's left? Well, these parts in blue, which is a 3 by 3 square. And so the answer to the first part with one sign painted is 9 for one face, but there are six faces in a cube, so it's just 9 times 6, which equals 54. So how many in this two by two or three by my bad five by five by five that are painted uh, with one face? The answer is fifty-four. Okay, we want to know what two sides painted. Well, similar to what we just did on the last problem, example one, we look for where you're not going to have corners. Well, you're not going to be on an edge, but not a corner is going to be a space like this. And I'm shading it in green. This right here is going to be an edge of this cube, but not on a corner. And how many do we count? One. Two, three. There are three of those. There are 12 edges, so 3 times 12 is 36. 
So there are 36 unit cubes that have two edge painted. The number that have three edges painted is eight. Um, and so if you wanted to finish, kind of finish this problem out, you'd, you'd get 98 have either one, two, or three edges painted. And so 125, which is five by five by five, means 27 are left, which is no painted. And if you remember what I said for no faces, it's the inside cube. And you just subtract one from each of the or two from each of the dimensions, so three by three by three, which e equals exactly 27.